Titanfall 2 is a run-and-gun action game that features mechs as a defining aspect of what sets apart from the Call of Duties of the world. I know this game is a couple years old now, but it was recently featured on PS Plus and became my first chance to play it. I think this is a shame, because Titanfall 2 is really damn good for what it is. I have a bunch of friends who played this, and all I ever really heard about it was that it was good. Not really why. And that's fair to be honest, because the campaign is only about 4 hours long, so I can imagine it would be hard to find things to say about it. The opening cinematic of Titanfall 2 tells you everything you need to know about the universe and the main character's mentality going into it. They do a really solid job of laying things out for you in an in-universe way, and I really appreciate that. Most of these styles of protagonist explaining things cutscenes are overly gritty or just try really hard to establish the main character as a person who just takes things really seriously. But in this cutscene, there's a hint of romanticism to it. The main character respects and admires mech pilots. The story is about him, but he comes across as humble and respectful in this opening scene where he talks about the world, which is something I don't feel many companies know how to do with their protagonists. You start with a time trial tutorial, which also functions as a neat little minigame a la COD of yesteryear. But instead of a kill house, you're in a simulation running on walls and dipping and diving. It's a decent change to the run and gun formula that adds some life to it, just don't expect any tactical thinking. The story itself actually isn't anything special. It's Space Force 1 against Evil Space Force 2. If you've ever played Killzone, it will probably remind you of that quite a bit. Except instead of space Nazis, you have the evil over extremely capitalist corporation or something like that. It's a means to an end and it's not really important overall. The visual direction leans towards realism and in the mech genre, you either lean heavily into realism or lean heavily into anime. And this has some anime shit like press L1 to time travel and the ability to double jump. You even have the trademark cute robots. But you also have extremely brutal mech on mech executions, clearly defined insignias telling you not to step on the weapon while manually servicing it, and things like that peppered throughout. It's balanced. And in the genre of mechs, that's not something we get enough of. I can appreciate this, even if most people see it as being stylistically bland. The gameplay makes sure that you're always going with the flow in a way that never feels dull. The setting changes so fast, and even as you blaze through the boss fights, for lack of a better way to call them, the game makes sure to load itself with charm. BT, your mech partner, is a delight to be around. He has just enough personality to come across as genuinely self-aware, and that characterization makes you miss him when he's not around. As you get farther into the story, you'll want him to be there, and every second you spend away from him feels like you're being torn asunder by grief. I abandoned my boy! I abandoned my boy! Speaking of, Titanfall 2's multiplayer makes up for the bulk of the experience at the end of the day. And in the multiplayer, that has long since been left for dead because of Apex Legends' sudden popularity, you'll get into matches that are incredibly easy. I'm sure this is because anybody who is good at this game has completely moved on. In a couple days of playing this, I never got below top 2 in a match, even on games where I lost. I refuse to believe that I'm that good at this game because I only beat it on hard, which honestly kind of disappointed me with how I Effortless it was. Titanfall's obviously a love letter to both shooters and mecha. Going from mech fights to parkour and a house factory used to do live fire simulations for prototype unmanned mechas, just it's so good thematically. Flagrant capitalist imperialism is a linchpin of the mecha genre, and what shows that more than this setting here? The only thing I dislike about this game is how little of it there is, and how few people are still sticking around to play it. Now, I know I'm not gonna get it, because how could I? But what I'd really love is for Respawn to either team up with Obsidian for an RPG-based sequel with a very long campaign that dives into the traits of each individual character. What they establish in the universe is fine, but the rolling credits makes me realize that even though I had time to get attached to BT, I don't really have time to get attached to anyone else. I barely know who these people are. It could easily be converted into a longer game if you added some role-playing elements or a planet map. You could add in so much in the way of customization or storytelling in the setting that it's just asking for it, begging for it. You can see a sequel where Jack is slowly given command of a team of pilots instead of just pulling solo missions. Hell, make him the commanding officer of his own starship. This setting could go so far in a Titanfall 3. My imagination is running wild with things I could design around this. Team up with DICE and make Battlefield 2143. You know, the one we got teased years ago? Man, I'm so hungry for that. Titanfall 2 is a great game that just has not enough to it. I never played Titanfall 1, but I heard the exact same thing about it. If they ever make a Titanfall 3, and it's more than this, that'd be perfect. 
I could really think of nothing better. I don't have much else to say at the end of this one, except to clear out that me and my editor Ryan will be going back and forth when I'm editing these videos. I did this one, and I hope with only a few months doing this under my belt, the quality is still on the rise and that it shows. But I don't know. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments and what you'd like to see us do next. Have a good one.